All right. Hello everyone. I'm Kiwami and today we are going to be running Bomberman 3 and Bomberman 3 is yeah, as the name says, like the third Bomberman game for the Super Nintendo that unfortunately didn't really saw an overseas release. This game was only released in Japan and it was also released in Europe. But the European version of this game is somehow rare and it's slower because it's the PAL version of the game, so it runs like 60, 50 FPS. So we're basically playing the Japanese version. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to do the countdown for the run because I'm gonna be starting through a like, I'm gonna be starting through a reset because I'm gonna do an RNG manipulation for the first level. So I'm gonna start from a reset and I'm gonna try to like say when it's going to be the time. So let's go. All right, go. Oh, sorry, I didn't really did a like a countdown, but yeah, that should be the start. And yeah, what I did here, I mashed as fast as I could because something pretty interesting about this game is that the presets for the first level are based on the frame that you press start. So at the beginning, so it was actually recently discovered by some some people actually and I basically I kind of know a lot of the presets that we can get also I got a little bit of trouble with the enemies unfortunately we cannot manipulate the enemies in this game and oh okay that was <laughs> that was not a good luck at all but it's fine yeah so now the RNG manipulation for the the thing is pretty much over so I got a really weird preset now but it's fine it happens so the way that the RNG works in this game is, as I said, it depends on the frame that you press start at the beginning of the level, but it also depends on the frame that you finish every level. So if I finish level 1 in a specific frame, I will get the same layout for the next level. And that also involves the, the items and everything that we can find. That's why I got some good luck here I didn't unfortunately I'm getting the brown Louie now so the brown this game introduces the Louis actually the Mormon man game that actually introduced this those those guys is the Mormon man 94 but Bomberman man 3 is actually made on top of Bomberman man 94 so if you if somehow if someone already played Bomberman man 94 before pretty much going to recognize a lot of things in this game because this game is made on top of Bomberman 94 all the levels Louis everything there is however they did change some stuff on some Louis like I think the brown Louis is actually new to this, to this version if I if I recall correctly and there's also the blue and the pink the blue and the pink are the best Louis also you, you guys can see that I'm playing as the black bomber uh, the reason that I'm playing with him is there is like a lot of levels that Black Bomber is actually faster than playing as White Bomber. So we do that to, you know, save some time. So he starts sometimes, most of the level he starts like on the right. And a lot of stuff in the levels are like a lot of things are placed like on the right also I had a little bit of a capture card issue right now but I think we're fine let me all right we're, we're fine I found my capture card like died but we're good anyway I also in that level I grabbed the the bomb kick something that I think not many people know actually about the bomb kick is that you can pretty much stop the bomb when you where you want by just pressing the the X button. Also, I got Pink Louie. That's very nice. So the Pink Louie, she can jump over things. And this is pretty OP. In the game that you need to travel your way around the blocks, having an, a gimmick that can actually jump over the blocks is per, it's, it's very nice. And there's also something not really intended in this game. As you guys can see, I literally used this, like, I literally extended my iframes by using the pink Louie. 
So she is actually the best Louis in this run. And I don't want to lose her by any means. So I'm going to do my best to keep her until like World 2. After World 2, we're pretty much fine. Because we are not really going to need her. So what, what I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing right now is the iframe extension. As you guys may see in the level that I just finished. And now we are almost finishing the first world. Like, I think I'm probably gonna get a sub 6 minutes in the first world. Usually, like, we wanna get a, like a sub 5, but the first world is pretty hard. There's a lot of RNG. Which is also something that I don't think I really mentioned. This game... Basically, the level of the item locations is RNG. I mean, I did say that the item locations depend on the frame that you finish the level, but that's what the RNG kicks in, because we, we cannot play perfectly all the time, so we cannot really be frame perfect in like this game. We're usually gonna be finishing the level in like one or two frames ahead, so yeah, that's why we can only manipulate the first level. Also, this is not good. So what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be extending my iframes on two, the end and I wanna place a bomb here. I think I'm gonna I have I'm gonna lose okay that was that's a good one. So yeah I I, I basically skipped the like the, the need to put a lot of bombs and break the blocks. So that's the thing in this game like we don't have as much iframes as like in the first Bomberman game. Whoever played the first Bomberman game will find it very weird and in this game we don't have as much we don't have like as as many iframes to work with. We have like three seconds worth of iframes in this game. Compared to like the first game that we have 15 seconds. So we cannot really do much with bomb abuse, they nerf it. So now the first boss. Unfortunately, I don't necessarily know the, the map names of every single boss, but this guy is pretty simple. He basically likes to throw things when he see bombs and since we can kick bombs close to him the boss fight pretty much becomes a cakewalk thanks to that so it's pretty simple and most of the bosses in this game behave like that like they try to behave based on bombs on in their front or like the position that you are so we're gonna take advantage of that in most of the boss fights until we get the remote bomb so now we are on area 2, the volcano level. So this is an interesting level. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used too much high frames. That was not good. Yeah, hopefully I can get the... Oh my god, that was blast. Oh, that was a blast RNG. Yeah, that... That, that, that was pretty lucky. We usually... <laughs> that, like... The eggs, as I... I don't think I mentioned it as well, but the eggs are RNG. They... Unfortunately, the Louis that we are getting from the egg is basically RNG. Unfortunately, there is no way to manipulate them. Maybe someday we can probably find like a Louis manipulation of some sort. Like, I mean, we did found the RNG manip for the first level though, but yeah, the, the Louis is also based on frames and it's actually the frame, the like the RNG starts to roll on the first frame that egg appears on screen. So, unfortunately, there is no, like, way to consistently manipulate it. So, this level, there is the, those fire enemies. I want to get rid of them as soon as possible because they can be a little bit annoying. There we go. And also, I want to leave this area as soon as possible because this area has a lot of lag. Unfortunately, I didn't quite got a good RNG to work with here, but it's fine. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna keep up. I'm gonna keep the pink Louis because even if we don't manage to use all the iframes properly, we are still going to save a lot of time in this level, like in this world in general. This world is actually called Firestorm. So I'm gonna try my best to not lose pink Louis. Until, like, we get more items and everything. Oh, 
Also, those wheels can be a little bit annoying because they are they have a little bit of RNG as well. So this level is pretty fast with Pink Louie as well. Because Black Bomber starts on the left, on the right. Instead of starting on the on the left, like blue bomb like like white bomber does. Why am I calling him blue bomber though? I mean, he does wear blue, so he's kind of blue bomber, but he is called white bomber in the game manual, so... So, this level has a very... Oh my god, I lost the thing, Louis, that's not good. Yeah, uh, I was... I got a little bit excited there that I got the remote bomb. So, this is the remote bomb. The remote bomb is probably the strongest item in this game, because we can literally explode our bomb at will, so... Instead of waiting for like power seconds to to explode our bombs, we can just we can just press B and explode them. So now we are heading to the final level of the world too. So that's like a little bit of lore about Bomberman 3. You guys see those those fragments on screen. Uh, we are basically having like to rescue all the Bombermans in the levels. So, either way, this next section is gonna be a little bit slow since I don't have Pink Bluey, so... Might be a really good time for some donations if we have any. We don't have any donations right now, but I just want to remind everyone that we... Only have a little bit of time left before Mighty Gunvolt Burst happens, and we are still only at $27 out of the 75 needed to play on hard mode. So if you want to see that happen, you need to you need to get moving. Alright, almost finishing the level here. I got the blue Louie, and I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna keep the blue Louie all the way because he is kind of strong. We can kick bombs whenever we like on places. Like we just need to be like one tile away from the bombs to kick them. Unfortunately, he is not as strong as the Pink Louie, unfortunately. The Pink Louie pretty much, like, overscales him because she's just way too strong. Also, now we have the Golem Bomber and his giant volcano here. And this guy can also be manipulated. Uh, I mean, if he decided to go down. So, alright, he went down. So, we can just make him dance like this. As I say, the boss, the boss patterns are based on your position, and whenever there is a bomb on the front of the boss, and whenever how far you are from this bomb and from the boss, so yeah, the way that the boss patterns works in this game is actually kind of complicated. Like the way that the boss calculates, like where he he's going to, where are they going to, 